This is the required practical on osmolarity in cells in the new diploma biology syllabus. And it only uses potatoes, sucrose or sodium chloride solutions, and cork borers. Using your cork border of known diameter, extract a potato cylinder from a large potato. Then cut the cylinder to a known length using a ruler and a knife. Use a weighing boat or a piece of paper and master potato cylinder and record it into your data table. Remember to tear the scale prior to doing this. Add the potato to a solution of known concentration for no less than 15 minutes. I'm using distilled water, so the concentration of NaCl or sucrose would be 0 grams per milliliter or 0%. When time is up, remove the cylinder using forceps and remove excess water using a paper towel. Then mask the cylinder again and record this information on your data table. You are now able to calculate the percentage change in mass of your potato cylinder. As you noticed, the change in mass is quite small, but represents a large percentage of the mass of the cylinder. For this reason, it's important to be careful about every measurement done in this experiment. To find the percentage difference, subtract the initial mass from the final mass, divide by the initial mass, and multiply your answer by 100. Check that you have a positive number if the mass increases, and a negative number when the mass decreases. Graph the data as a scatter plot and draw a line of best fit where the line intersects the y-axis. In other words, when the percentage mass change is zero, the potato cylinders have gained and lost water at the same rate. The concentration where the potatoes don't change mass is called the isotonic point.